right, let's do this thing. What's up, everybody? Uncle Jesse, aka Cardboard Moses, with you. Welcome. Time to do, do what? Time to do yet another break. Uh, we're gonna be doing 2017-18 NBA hoops basketball, baby. Half case. That's ten boxes. Uh, some teams we sold on our website, RipCityCards.com. The other teams we couldn't sell, we put up for auction on eBay. So it's going to be a half Rip City Cards, half eBay break. Uh, break number two. Actually, number six. I lied. This is break number six. All right. Without any further ado, let's get it. And as always, good luck, everybody. Thank you, Abe. Now, uh, I hope you guys got your popcorn ready. Because this break is going to take a while. About an hour. You got it, Mr. Silverman. By the way, dude, I'm super glad you got that card. Super glad you got Because, you know, otherwise, I would have had to fire some people. And I don't want to do that. But uh, if, if that's what I, you know, I do what I got to do. Mr. Do, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. This thing uh, is not fun. It is. I can only imagine watching it because uh, doing it is not fun. All right, Mr. Do, have a good one, man. Or just come back in an hour. I'll be done by then. That's one box. Let's see what we got here. Now I'm going to separate the uh, veteran base because veteran base is not shipping on this. So I may as well do the favor for my sorters and just not even include it in that. But I do throw the Ben Simmons in there. You know, he technically is a rookie this year. So not sure why they didn't do that for him. And he's been killing it this year, man. Ben Simmons is easily the best rookie. This is a good draft class, though. Very good draft class. Like this guy right here for the uh, Celtics, Sammy Ojaleye, has been doing very well. That's a nice card right there for the Celtics. Got the Ivaka Zubak there for the Lakers to 199. Veterans 
for JJ Barea. That's the auto for the Mavericks. About two autos per box on this. On average. I'm going to try to go through it as quickly as I can because I know this stuff is tough to watch, man. By the way, Matt, I noticed uh, you got Call of Duty. How do you like Call of Duty, by the way, Matt? Considering picking that up, give myself a little birthday gift, but I'm not. I'm not sure. Still debating. Still debating. It was the. How's the campaign? I got man, I, I I gotta do some research on it. I gotta do some research on it. See some reviews and all that stuff. And see how I feel. I might I might just pick it up. I mean the only other video game that like I really wanna get that's gonna come out, and it's not even coming out this year. Um, but that's you know, I like single player games, you know. For as far as multiplayers the only multiplayers I'll really play are Call of Duties. Or like shooting games, things like that, you know? I kind of want to play the, uh, what's that game I'm thinking about? Shadow of Mordor? Where it's kind of like the... Um, What's that called? I forget the name of that movie franchise. Shadow of War, that's what it's called. Shadow of War. It's a single player game. I like single player games though. You know, I like role playing games and things like that. Action games. <clears throat> oh, by the way, Matt, somebody bought another box from the uh, the regular season edition. It was Lucas Giolito for the Nationals that came out of there. But who knows? Maybe there's something else nice lurking in the other four boxes. If you're uh, still considering that to move. Devin, are you watching the game? Come on, Dion Waiters. It is a close one. Too close for my comfort. Am I going to get more archive signatures? If there are any more cases available, I will try to get some more, man, because it's been good to us. It's been minus that one case I did. 
earlier today, that case was pretty boo-boo. But that case was the exception because everything else that I've broken out of there has been very, very solid. So I will, I will uh, talk to Gelf and see if we can get some more. You know, because that's a product that there wasn't a lot of it made. There wasn't a lot of the archives made, so. Really, if I ask them to make more, they're going to make more? Really? Are you, are you fucking with me right now, Rara? Man, there are some good looking there are some good looking girls out in Utah, man. Oh, that's a sweet one right here. For the Pacers, Victor Oladipo with the auto. Oh yeah, he can make anything happen for sure. There's some they have no rhythm out there in Utah. But there are some cute white girls out there, man. I might have to make a trip. See if uh if they want to get some uh, some cardboard Moses in their life, you know what I'm saying? Well, that's the thing. I don't want to marry one. I don't want to marry more than one. I just want to. I just want to plow more than one. That's all. Not ask. Not asking for much. That's the next step. I need to get laid in every state in the union. I've, I've got one state done. I got the state of Florida. Boom. Check that off. Now I just got 49 more to go. Like that's that's on my bucket list. I wanna I wanna get laid in every continent on the planet. Antarctica might be a little you know might be a little hard to do that one, but I can do it. I can do it. And there's got to be a different chick in every continent. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I go to Antarctica, I need I need to hook up with, like, a chick from Antarctica. I don't know how many humans are living out there, but, you know. How many people can say that, yeah, you know, yeah, you know, I laid up. I laid up with a chick from Antarctica, dog. 150 points. So there are no humans living in Antarctica? I mean, I'm sure it would be difficult. It's a good life goal, right? <laughs> you know, listen, man, you got you got to strive for bigger and better things, man. So you're telling me they don't have igloos out there like a little Who knows, man? What do we know? What if they have what if they have like a little nomadic crew out there in Antarctica? That nobody knows about. Like, what if there's like a whole subspecies of humans out there that no one knows about? That would be kind of cray. I mean, I bet. I mean, I can only imagine it'd be kind of impossible to live out there in Antarctica, cause it's fucking Antarctica. You know, it's not like they they got apples and oranges and shit out there. They, they don't got no. They don't got nothing. The autos in that last box were Ola Depot and 150 Panini points. Yeah, I just saw that dunk right there. Gobert's nasty.
Oh, white side, you should have had that block. I'm glad Gobert's not hurt. That would have sucked, man. Come on, Heat. Y'all got to get it together, boys. I spend more time opening up the packs in the box than I do actually going through the box. Alright, continue the expedition that is hoops. How about, did anybody see De'Aaron Fox hit the game winner last night? More Panini points. 250 of them. So that's going to replace an auto. Not a fan of Panini points. Get in there, white side. Oh, that's not a goaltend? They're not going to call a goaltend on that? That's bullshit. this replay oh bro that's a freaking goaltend man the ball was on its way down let's go waiters Dion waiters Woo! that boy is nasty bro we gotta play defense boys Gotta play some D. Come on, man. Get Whiteside the ball. Get him involved. Dion Waiters, the GOAT! Yo, Dion Waiters is coming out of nowhere. Ever since he came to Miami, he's been a completely different player. That is a big-time insert. 2 out of 10 backstage pass for the Unicorn. Are they really calling this man the Unicorn? Poor Zingus of the Knicks. Top load that insert. That is nice. Flashing threes on him. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, baby. That's that heat basketball right there. Man, we look so clean in those old school uniforms, man. I need I need a jersey. I need I need a jersey. The autograph is gonna be for the Pistons John Lure. I'm watching I'm you know, in between breaking, I'm like multitasking. And also watching the, the Heat Jazz game. The game's not over, dude. The game's not over, Devin. 
I've seen the Heat completely collapse with, you know, with seconds on the clock. They, they've broken my heart too often. So the game's not over till it's over. Until it hits triple zeros, the game ain't over. But Dion Waiters has been killing it since he's been in a Heat uniform. Like, ridiculous, man. Jazz fans leaving already. Well, it's nice to know that, you know, that only, that doesn't only just happen in Miami. I'm sure you guys noticed, you know, when you actually had to watch Heat games, for those of you that watch basketball when LeBron was in Miami, too often did the, you know, Heat fans, and we, that's just what we do in Miami, honestly. Just because there's so much to do in Miami, it's like, okay, well, fuck that. We're going to lose. Shit, I'm going to beat the traffic. Let's go to Winwood. Let's go have some drinks, or let's go to Coral Gables and get lit over there or let's go to, across the street to Bayside and go hit up the Hooters there or you know there's just so much to do in Miami I've never been to Utah the only the only memories I have of Utah are from uh, watching the movie Dumb Dumb and Dumber at least I think they were in Utah Dion Waiters is absolutely ridiculous right now. You got to be kidding me, bro. Am I ready for the big game? Of course I'm ready for the big game, man. Oh, that was in Colorado. That is true. I was thinking if they were in Aspen. Is Aspen in Utah? I just didn't want to put it all the way out there. You know, I don't want to see all I don't want to see him all the way stupid. Dion Waiters attacking the rim. I see you, boy. I gotta watch that movie again, man. I'm not gonna rock the gold chain. I don't have. I need that chain, though. I need that chain. That turnover chain is literally like the most Miami thing ever. Like, every college has their thing. You know what I mean? I think Alabama has, like, a championship belt. And, you know, every school has, like, their little thing. You know, Ohio State with the stickers on the helmet. You know? But that turnover chain? Best thing going in college football. I do like to see the the dejected look on the on the on the Utah Jazz fans. <laughs> Kids don't care; they're having a good time, but uh, the adults, not so much. You know, I hate to say this, but watching the Utah game, I'm looking in the stands, and I don't think I've seen a single minority in the Jazz Arena. What up, Jao Bao? My man, coming through. What's up, dude? Is uh is the other Pokemon Breaker? Oh damn, 1,500 Panini points. That's a lot of Panini points. We're going to random them off here. You probably get something really good with all those Panini points. How's everything with you, Job Out? Enjoying your Friday, my man? The OG Anunobi to 99 for the Raptors there.
Of course I do, Devin. Well, I know, I mean, that's why they call us minorities for a reason, but, you know. We're kind of taking over. We're kind of taking over. I just, you know, I'm not used to the lack of diversity around the nation, honestly. Like, living in Miami, I'm pretty spoiled out here in Miami, dude, because there's, there's so much, there's so many different cultures, and it's really a melting pot in Miami. Whereas, if I leave the state of Florida, it just, it's, it's not, it's not the same, man. Honestly, I don't feel comfortable leaving the state of Florida. Cameron Oliver of the Rockets with the autograph. Uh, no big, uh, no big names yet, Ziggy. No big names. I agree. The entire United States in a whole, as a whole, I should say, is a melting pot. But like, there are certain cities in the U.S. where it's more true. You know what I mean? Like Miami, Los Angeles, New York. Obviously, those are bigger markets and whatnot, but, you know, the diversity is, is, is a beautiful. Whereas, if you go to Georgia, I'm just, I mean, I'm using Georgia as a scapegoat here. But, like, certain parts of Georgia, you won't see anybody. So, it's kind of, it's kind of crazy. The Heat with the W, baby. Dion Waiters has turned into a completely different player since he's played for the Heat. And I love it. It's that Heat culture, man. I, I heard an interview of his in the offseason. Oh, this is nice. Championship moment for Patrick McCall to 99 of the Warriors. Got to sleep that up. Uh, anyways, in the interview, Dion Waiters, so like some one of the interviewer was like, "Oh, you know, how do you feel if if Kyrie Irving ends up playing for the Heat?" And Dion was all like, "Well, that's cool and all, but you know, if he comes if he comes to Miami, he he needs to know we some dogs, we scrap, we fight, we some bulldogs out here in Miami." And that's probably why Kyrie was like, "Nah, I don't want to play out there. Those boys actually play defense, nah." I don't want. I don't want to. I gotta actually work hard. Nah. Uh, I'm gonna. Go, I'm gonna take the easy way out and go to the Celtics. Yogi Ferrell of the Mavericks. Four out of ten. The gold. That is nice. I noticed that, like, uh, for example, I, I've left the state a few times. I mean, I've, I've visited a few states, uh, mostly here on the East Coast. But I went to Chicago earlier this year, and there's a good amount of diversity there. But you go to certain places in Illinois, and it can get scary. For me, anyway. Did you see all those one-on-ones that came out of there, Kyle Smith? There was the one-on-one A-Rod, the one-on-one uh, Big Poppy. Did you, did you see all those bad boys? Uh, dude, well, of course there's great food outside. There's, there's good food everywhere. Let's, let's start there. Um, but particularly in Illinois, the deep dish pizza, eh, I'm not really a fan. Dude, that one case we did of, uh, of the postseason, there was seven total 101s in there. Chipper Jones... Ryan Sandberg, uh, 
Um, Alex Rodriguez, David Ortiz, uh, Sandy Colfax 101, Kyle. Like, I'm, I'm going to pause this real quick just to show you what's up. That came out of there. They're not one on ones, but still huge cards. Hank Aaron, Reggie Jackson. Uh, check out the one on ones. A Rod, Big Poppy, Sandy Koufax. There was also the Chipper Jones, Ryan uh, Sandberg. Um, who else did I hit a one of one of? Adrian Gonzalez. Just so much niceness. So much niceness. I'm trying to get the hotness out of this hoops right now, honestly. That is the uh, the next step. And I have four boxes left of regular season uh, archives. After this, I mean, pretty much done with eBay breaks after this. So, I would love, love, absolutely love to get that immaculate football done. As well as that high-tech baseball. High-tech baseball is a lot closer to breaking. Uh, at 18 spots left. But, Kyle, you know how I do for you, man. If, if there's anything you want and uh you want to you want some uncle jesse loving you let me know I'll, I'll hook you up with a little discount kyle anyways by the way jow bow or anybody else in here watching has anyone seen the new thor movie i hear it's funny but is it good because i i may or may not be seeing it tomorrow Spend so much time opening up the packs, man. <coughs> How come you didn't go see a job out? Ah, I feels you. I feels you. Adulting, man. Adulting. I'm I'm still not used to it, and I've been adulting for like the past ten years. Like, right now, like, my homeboy came through and, like, yo, in the actual chat, he was like, yo, we're at Wynwood, which is, like, the spot here in Miami to, like, go get wasted. And he's all like, yeah, you know, we're at Wynwood, dog. Come through. I'm like, nah, dog. I'm too busy pulling Dirk Nowitzki for the Mavericks, baby. Has there been a bad superhero movie? Um, that's really a matter of opinion. Like I was saying earlier, I was not a fan of the Batman vs. Superman movie. But I, I kind of, I need to rewatch it. I need to rewatch it. You know, I just, I couldn't get over the fact that Ben Affleck was Batman. And uh, I'm just not a fan of Ben Affleck. So anytime I see a Ben Affleck, the only role Ben Affleck has ever played... That I actually enjoy was his uh, his role in the town. I'm not sure if you guys have seen that. I think that's the I think that's what the name is called. Um, the town. You raise a good point, uh, Black and Gold. The first Hulk was pretty bad. For the Pacers, Ek Anigbogu with the auto. Like the very, 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 very first Hulk that was made. Well, actually not the very first one. I think his name was Eric Banner or is Eric Banner. That Hulk sucks. <clears throat> but I have yet to see like a Marvel movie, like a Marvel superhero movie that I have not enjoyed. My favorites would probably have to be the Guardian of the Galaxy movies. Those movies are more sci-fi than anything, at least in my opinion. 
And they're pretty they're pretty fun, man. They're pretty fun. Yeah, this is the the half eBay half store. This is so technically this is PYT number two in the store. Uh, in case you're wondering, uh, black and gold. I'm gonna have to start putting some of these cards away. Starting to stack up a little crazy. Put some of this stuff away. Yeah, store was a ten boxer. They both were ten boxes. PYT one and two were uh, half cases, each for a total of a full case. This is box number six. So we're past the halfway marker. Done with that. All right. Let's see what we got. I'm going to kick this into high gear. Yeah. 
Here we go. That's a big name auto right there. Malik Monk of the Hornets with the auto. What else we got? Oh, come on, CBJ. Don't fall on us. Don't fall on us. We need you. Guide us to the hits. Josh Huestis for the Thunder is the auto. I'm going to need to grab some more top loaders here. <sighs> Got a big game coming up tomorrow, man. Miami, Notre Dame. I just hope it's a good game. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous. It's a big game. Huge game. If we beat Notre Dame, we're in the top four. For sure. Let's put this away. I was trying to go to the game too, but way too expensive. To sit in the nosebleeds, two, three hundred dollars. Fuck that. The U will win by three. Well, I hope we, you know, I hope we win by more than that. You know, I don't know if my heart can take any more uh, close victories or close games, for that matter. I would like pure unbridled domination, but that, of course, is probably not going to happen. Oh, the Dolphins don't play on Sunday. Dolphins play Monday. Awesome. 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 That pack was a tad difficult to deal with. I'm at 13. I got your text. Uh, I'll take a picture when I'm done with this. <clears throat> Damn, Brandon. No bueno. Well, maybe you can help us out uh, with the high tech or immaculate uh, on the website, Brandon. By the way, you also missed some ridiculous boxes of Archives uh, Baseball earlier. 
disgustingness. I pulled seven one of ones out of a case, man. Seven. Well, Devin, considering my heat put a put a little spanking on your boys, I'm assuming you got the jazz, right? Let's see if Uncle Jesse can do some goodness for you. Two out of ten for the Thunder, Paul George. That is nice. All right, let me grab some top loaders that ran out. I did get a Hank Aaron out of the case, Brandon. I did, as a matter of fact. Hank Aaron, Reggie Jackson, uh, Chipper Jones, one of one. Uh, what else did I do? Big Poppy, Sandy Koufax, one of one. Ricky Henderson, one of one. It's been a good day for one of ones, you know. If you're breaking with me. If you follow us on Instagram, Brandon, you will see the pictures. Uh, I do have it posted on Instagram for your viewing pleasures. And then you can be all be all like, damn, why didn't I buy those boxes when I could have? Gosh, shame on me. You, know, you, can, you can beat yourself up over it later. For the Kings, Harry Giles with the auto. It was from Allen and Ginter to the Hank Aaron. So it looks uh, extra fancy. For the Grizzlies, Troy Daniels, the auto. There you go, Matt 13. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. You know, I, I usually like to... Uh, toot my own horn, but it's it's nice when someone else does it for you. <coughs> Except for that box, got three more to go. Anything good out of the signature series? Well, yeah, Brandon, we've been we've been talking about it, dude. Where have you been? Check it. I'll show you. Uh... So look, signature series, signature series, signature series. Some more signature series. It's been nice, man. It's been, oh, not to mention, there's also this in Signature Series. You know, I want to want Chris Bryant. There is, uh, there's plenty of room for activities in that. Plenty of room for activities. I have exactly four boxes left of the uh, regular season edition. Which, you know, would not surprise me if there's at least another 101 lurking in there. Watch it be like a one of one Mike Trout. Ha! That would be awesome. Chances are extremely low, but you never know. You never know.
more Panini points. I'm just going to take them out now. 150 right there. Man, that's going to be a lot of Panini points that I got to do. That's, let's see, I got 1,500, I got 250, and 2, 150. So that's 300. Man, that's over 2,000 Panini points. What can that get you? What can two, what can what can two thousand put any points get you? Just curious. One base card. That's it. It better be like the best of the best. The base card. Can I break up the points? I can, but I'm not going to. That's no fun. Well, the points, you have to go to the Panini website and redeem them. There's a, There's a code you got to scan. You scan the code, and then you can use the code to redeem, uh, redeem it for cards and stuff like that. I just don't know what's available on the website right now. You're absolutely correct, Brandon. Absolutely correct. You know, the postseason case sold out already. So, uh, I just have four boxes left of the regular season. Which, uh, would not surprise me if I have another one on one in there. What up, Dylan G? All right, let's see what's in this box here. Any points sell good on eBay? A. Hey. For the Kings, George Hill with the autograph. I'm just separating all the base cards from the stuff that does not ship. The veteran base doesn't ship, so that's why I'm just sorting through them to make my peeps' life a little bit easier. For the Hawks, 10 out of 10, Tyler Dorsey. It's a nice looking card. The cards are nice, it's just way too many base cards, man. It's kind of ridiculous.
All right, last last stack here. And we got two boxes left to go. The biggest autograph so far has to be Malik Monk for the Hornets. That's it for that box. We got two boxes left. I got half a mind to just open them all up, but I'm not going to do that. I haven't done the giveaway yet, Brandon, because I still have nine more spots to sell on the website. Once I can get nine more spots sold on the website, I will give away the Panini points. Of course they do, Matt 13. I already got that accounted, my man. And I, I, I've been checking the store here and there. Uh, no other purchases have been made. So we're still stuck at nine. Well, Jason, you already know how that works, man. I can do a filler, but chances are it's not going to fill. So uh, just, dude, just buy your teams outright, man. Oh, for sure. I wish I had some more. I mean... I have two more cases of it, but they're already posted on eBay, so I can't sell them. Any interest in the last four boxes of regular season, though, Matt 13? Well, out of that case of the regular season, I know there was an Adrian Gonzalez 101. Uh, but I would have to go through the, the boxes that we have here and see what else came out of there. I know for sure the Adrian Gonzalez 101. Well, I got to see what else is in there. I know there's at least two other 101s in it. Uh, well, that came out of it, I should say. Uh, I just need to double check for you. For the Blazers, Joseph Nurkic with the auto. For the Magic, Wesley Iwundu with the auto.
Aaron Aflalo for the Magic to 25. It's a low numbered card. Got to top load it. The finals insert to one ninety nine right there. Forty five a one ninety nine. Give that to the Warriors. Right there. Last box mojo time. Last box mojo. Last box mojo time. What up, Hagar? Wait, hold up. You were in the hospital for eight hours. Are you okay? Oh, wait. A clinical. What does that mean? You Were you, were you, were you doing like a test or something, dude? Box Mojo. Yeah, I was right. This thing took about an hour. And uh, a good 40 minutes of that hour is, is spent just opening up packs. So what'd you do for that clinical, Nicholas? <coughs> gotcha. That's a good experience, though, man. That's a good experience. Indiana getting spanked. All right, last box mojo. Let's see what we get. What's up, Jayhawks fanatic? Finishing up this hoops break right here. You know, which is always fun.
any more Kanan? Uh, not that I can remember. Uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do the uh, recap as always once I'm done with the break. You know those have been breaking with me for a while. No, I always do recaps at the end of the breaks. What's up, Dolphin Fanatic? How's everything with you, man? Look at you, Nicholas. So you you about to be a uh, a full on you know doctor real soon, like Rondé Hollis Jefferson auto for the Nets. I've been all right. I could be better if my Dolphins weren't uh, such crap. We fucking suck. Although I will say this, I do like the performance they put up uh, after trading a Jai. And our running backs don't look bad. Kenyon Drake and Damian Williams don't look bad, but that offense has a long way to go. Because defensively, we're solid. We just need some offense, man. We got to put up some points, man. They're my Dolphins. My Dolphins. They've always been my Dolphins. You know, you may call yourself the Dolphin Fanatic. But even in bad times, I'm in there. I'm hanging in there. You know, I, I am loyal to a fault. For better or worse. They did. They showed some life against the Raiders, man. So, we're back to 500. We, we don't play until Monday. We play the Panthers, so that should be fun. Uh, I do not, Nicholas. If I showed you... Well, then again, you probably saw him on Instagram already. Uh, the hits that came out of that postseason. I am sold out, man. Sold out. How about them, Lightning? They doing all right? You know, I, I don't watch hockey. But I am always a fan of seeing a fight. And I know I do know they scrap every now and then in the hockey world. 13-2. and two, Very nice. And that was the break. All right. So we are going to have to do some randoms here. I got a whole buttload of Panini points to random. I got 150 and 150, that's 300. Plus 250, that's 550. Plus 1500, that's 2050 Panini points. That's a lot of Panini points. And it's going to one spot because that's how I do things, baby. I'm all about, you know, it's all or nothing, baby. All or nothing with Uncle Jesse. That's how I do things. Yeah, man, that's true. I, I didn't want to bring that up. Uh, damn, that's a shame, man. That close to your son's school? That's kind of crazy. Yeah, that's what I've been hearing. Everybody in the sports world is like, you know, oh, man, you know, he was such a great dude and whatnot. Well, Nicholas, have you seen the the pictures? Have you seen the pictures of the archives? So we're going to go six times in the random for 2,050 Panini points. It's going to go to the top team in the list. All teams here. Good luck, guys. So that's one. Two. A three, four, five, and the money shot going to the Spurs. Spurs getting the 2,050 Panini points. There you go, Spurs. Very nice. And now it's recap time. That was you, Jason. There you go. And you wanted to split up the points. Puh. What a pansy. We don't split nothing around here, boy. All or nothing in this room. That's how I do things, baby. That's how it should be. Recap time. Jefferson Nets. Iwundu Magic. Nurkic Blazers. Hell Kings. Grizzlies. Uh, Daniels Grizzlies. Giles Kings. 
Hoist is Thunder, Monk, Hornets, Anik Bogu, Pacers, Nowitzki, Mavs, that's a nice hit, uh, Oliver, Rockets, Lure, Pistons, Oladipo, Pacers, Borea, Mavericks, and Ojaleye, Celtics. Very nice. And that, my friends, was 2017 NBA Hoops, half case break, that's 10 boxes, half, half Rip City Cup.